Hi guys and welcome to Bubble Pop Kids. I have had so many requests to do a gelatin soda bottle and I was so curious to see if it would work so today we're gonna do one. Here is a soda we're gonna be using. It is Mountain Dew Code Red. Look at this soda, it's such a bright color. I've actually never tried this soda before. I've had the regular green Mountain Dew but this one is with a rush of cherry flavor. Mm. What do you guys say we get started? All right, so now I'm gonna go over all the tools we're gonna to need to do this little project. First is the soda. We're gonna need seven packets of Knox Gelatin. This is unflavored and color free. A stainless steel boiling pot. A little piece of duct tape to seal the soda bottle once we cut it open. And a mixing spoon. So we have everything we need to get going here and make this gelatin soda bottle. I can't wait, but before we start, I have to tell you, Please, please have an adult with you or have a parent with you when you're doing this. Do not do this alone because we have to melt down the gelatin and the soda on the stove. It's gonna get super hot. So before you start, just make sure you have an adult with you. Let's do this. Here's my code red. So the first thing we're gonna do is empty this bottle of soda into the boiling pot, the whole entire bottle. Ooh, look at that color. <laughs> Let me smell it. Smells just like cherry coke, a little bit different. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove the sticker because we're gonna be placing this on the jello to make it look like a real bottle of soda. So I'm just gonna go gentle and peel this off. Next step, I'm gonna take this sharp blade here and my X-Acto knife, and when you guys are doing this, please have a parent or adult with you. These are really sharp, and you should have them do this part. I'm just gonna put a little line. I think that's good. And now we'll tape it up. And the reason I'm making this little line here, this little hole, is because once the soda turns into gelatin, I can just peel all the plastic off. It will be a little bit easier. I cut a little piece of duct tape here. I'm just gonna cover that little slice in the bottle and seal it up. Just to make sure none of the liquid can squeeze out. Try to pinch the edges so it's on there really, really tight. We don't want any of the code red spilling out. Next, I'm gonna pour all seven packets of this unflavored, color-free Knox gelatin into the soda. Ooh, look how weird that looks. <laughs> it's like all this powder on top of there. I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. So the next step, I'm gonna bring this to the stove and put it to a boil on like a low heat. And this is definitely where you need an adult, you guys. This is gonna get so, so burning hot. So let's go to the stove. Here's the Mountain Dew and gelatin mixture. It's on the stove here. It just has to go to a boil and then I'm gonna take it off and we'll pour it into the soda bottle. Okay, so I let the Mountain Dew and gelatin mixture boil on the stove for about five minutes. I brought it to a boil, and then when it was super hot, I poured it into this glass container here. I'm gonna let this cool off for maybe 10, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna pour it into the bottle. So my Jello soda has been cooling off for about 20 minutes. It's not warm anymore, it's pretty cool, and we're ready to pour into the bottle. The soda bottle's filled up all the way to the top. I'm just gonna put the lid on here. And it definitely looks like this 
duct tape worked because this thing isn't leaking at all. It looks perfect so far. So I'm gonna pop this BB into the fridge for about an hour and then we'll come back and see if it worked. Can't wait. Here it is guys, so the moment has come. I am so nervous. This has been in the freezer for about an hour and it definitely feels like jelly. It doesn't feel like liquid anymore, but I'm not sure if this worked or not. So let's peel back the duct tape and see. Nothing's leaking out, so I think it is jelly. I'm gonna try to cut this part open here. I'm gonna use these scissors. And if your parents are with you, please let them do this part. This is kind of dangerous. These are very sharp. So you can play around with the squishy jelly. Just let an adult cut the bottle for you. I got that little piece started. Let's see. Oh, it is jelly in there. Oh, code Red Mountain Dew Gelatin. And I'm just gonna peel this back and try to get this jelly out of this bottle. Okay, I'm going super slow because I don't want to break this apart. I got the whole middle section out. So now I have to try to get the bottom and the top off without ripping this apart. Let's see. Oops, so I got the top off. Now I still have to get the bottom. Here's my soda bottle jello, guys. I am not crazy about the way this came out. Look at this. I thought it would look a lot better. It's not so, so bad. It has the shape of the soda bottle, but all in all, I think this is a fail. I like this little piece here. I'm still gonna wrap the sticker around it and we'll test it out and try it. It smells like Mountain Dew. It's got like a cherry soda smell to it, but it kind of looks weird. I'm not sure where I went wrong. I don't know if it was the Jello mixture. Maybe I didn't boil it enough or maybe I didn't freeze it enough. I'm not sure, but if you look at it, it's not really shiny. It's kind of, it just looks like a blob. But I still think that we can wrap it up with this sticker and make it look like a soda. This definitely looks a lot better with the sticker on there. It's kind of looking like a soda bottle. And I can add the little red top right there. Not so bad, but it could have came out a lot better. <laughs> it's my first try, we'll keep trying. Let's chop it up and see what this tastes like. It smells really good from here. Let's cut it. Whoa. Ooh, it is so jiggly. It kind of has like a reddish orange color. Mm, I tried it. It doesn't taste like Mountain Dew too much. It does taste kind of like a fizzy soda with a mix of Jello. It doesn't taste bad. It's a sweet little treat. I like it. I like slicing it actually. That's the fun part. It kind of cuts like cranberry sauce actually. Oop, the top fell. Actually, this didn't come out too bad after all. It's pretty smooth inside. Here's the inside of there. It could have been a lot better. I'm gonna try this again because I really want it to come out perfect. Ooh, it's so slimy. Ah! Let's take off the sticker and chop this up. Here's what remains of our Mountain Dew soda bottle. The jelly came out really good actually. It's really flexible, kind of like Jello Jigglers, but the bottle could have came out a lot better. All in all, this was really fun. I'm gonna try it again, don't worry. We'll try it with a different kind of soda. And we're gonna have so many more fun videos to come. We are Bubble Pop Kids. And you can click this big red subscribe button right here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day, bye.